It's time to find out which generation will reign supreme. Hello and welcome to Boomer to Zuma, the game show where we see generations go head to head. I'm your host, Benny C, and today we have an exciting lineup of contestants ready to battle through the ages. So let's meet them. Hello, I'm Lynn. 30 years ago, I started the fashion for today's Zoomers with Mum Jeans. I'm a grandma and I know how to be a good grandma. You've met the lovely Lynn. Now let's meet her first competitor. Hey, I'm Nicole. I'm a cheerleading coach, a dancer, and a university student. Nicole is ready to battle. Let's meet our final contestant. Hi, my name's James and I'm a Zoomer. I like playing guitar and Wii Sports. Watch as I zoom past the competition. It looks like we're in for a tough competition. Now here to help us decide which generation truly reigns supreme, it's time to meet our judges. Let me introduce Eva Rose and Lily. Hi. Hello. You've met the contestants, you've met the judges, now it's time to play. You may find our first round to be a breeze for our boomer because this is the task that they are known for. Let's cut to our generational guru to show us the ropes. Thanks, Benny C. For our first round, it's fold a sheet. Time is of the essence, as each generation will have only 30 seconds to fold as many sheets as they can. Be sure to pack things down as tight and cosy as possible. Don't get it twisted. Get your folding skills ready, because your time starts now. Okay, so we have some uh, interesting tactics going straight in. Lynn looks like she's out in a clear lead. What do we think, girls? I think Nicole is doing pretty well. Yeah. James is taking a long time, but it, his looks really neat. His, like, looks really neat. James is falling behind here a bit. Pick up the pace. Two, one. Time's up, folding, finished. Phew, that looks uh, pretty close. While the judges are trying to decide, let's head over to our boomer and see how they went. So Lynn, this is uh, the task that your generation is known for. How do you think you went? Well, mine didn't behave itself and came un undone. I think I'm better at nurses' corners. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, yes. Maybe next time. Nicole, how do you think you went? Ah, uh, better than I thought I would. It's not exactly how I normally fold them, but in the time allotted. Pretty good. It's good to hear. And James, finally, how do you think you went? Look, yeah, just, it was a mess, mate. Couldn't find the corners. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. We'll head over to our judges. And uh, Eva Rose, Lily, who do we think won this round? I think Nicole won. She did two, and they're semi-neat. Congratulations to our winner, Nicole, who takes one point for the first round. Now, it's no secret that phones have developed wildly from generation to generation. And with this round, you may find our millennial contestant feeling right at home. Let's cross to our guru to find out just what the contestants are up against this time. Ring, ring, it's on to our second round, send a text. Each generation is given a flip phone and will have 30 seconds to type up a phrase on one of these bulky bricks. None of our contestants have previously seen the phrase they're about to type out, so get ready to wriggle those fingers. Get your phones at the ready because your time starts now. So, Lynn, have you ever used one of these phones before? A long time ago. Nicole, feeling right at home? Um, no. And James, how are we doing? Stress, mate. <laughs> tension, feel the tension. We've got five seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Zero, phones down, time's up. Whew, the competition looks close and we will find out who took this round right after the break. The curtain's up. The lights are on. I've trained for this, I'm ready. Here at 
the Theatre Factory, we're not just a dance school. From an age of two through to adulthood, we are immersed in performing arts. Each year we stage a full-length musical and ballet production, and that's where I found my home. I'm home, the Theatre Factory. Grab your friends and experience a different kind of day. Looking for that special companion to share your life with? One to get active with? Or to laze around with? One to have long eye gazes with? Or just to spend the day with? Whatever you're looking for, there's a furry friend fit for you. Head online to the RSPCA Queensland website and browse the profiles of eligible animals to find your perfect mate. Let them know if you're interested and follow the instructions. You may just meet the friend of your dreams ready to take home. Welcome back to Boomer to Zuma. Before our break, contestants went head to head in a flip phone texting challenge. And it looks like our judges are ready to go. So girls, what do we think? Um, we definitely think that James has won because he got the most out of everybody and his is the most accurate. Well, there you have it. James with a win. One point to James and one point to Nicole. The competition is heating up as we head into our final round, which will certainly have you all up and dancing. It's no secret that Gen Z are well known for using technology and going viral for their unique dance moves. In the recent years, we've seen the shuffle, the whip and nay nay, and even the throwback. Let's cross to our guru for the final time to see what in, what's in store for our contestants this round. With our final round, it's Create a Dance. These contestants will be showcasing their finest hoedown throwdown moves as they're given 30 seconds to create a brand new dance phenomenon. Time to bust your best groove. Hope you're all ready to go viral because your time starts now. Time is up. Um, Lynn, talk us through your uh, dance experience and moves. Just let it flow naturally. 
That's the way. And Nicole. Uh, try not to be so serious. Just have fun with it. That's what we want here. And James. <laughs> Interesting um, dance moves we saw yeah, on the mate. floor there. Been, that was, you know, influence there was Mr. Bean, mate. <laughs> dance. He dances like a champ. <laughs> what a champ. Let's uh, go to our judges. What do we think? Well, we think that Lynn had the best dance moves. Well, oh. Lynn wins round three, earning herself a point. Well, there we have it. The scores are all tied up. Everyone won a piece. So you know what that means? We go to the judges to see who the ultimate generation champion is. Eva Rose, Lily, have we come to a decision? So we have decided that the winner is... James. Because he folded his clothes neatly, he texted the best, and his dance moves were pretty good. Well, there you have it. James, our generational champion, winning it for the Zoomers. How do you feel? Pretty good, mate. I want to thank my mum, my dad, and everyone who was here. And who wasn't, man, that's, that's all i got to say about that. This has been Boomer to Zoomer. I've been your host, Benny C. And on behalf of everyone, I'd like to thank you for tuning in. See you next week on Boomer to Zoomer. Thank you. Bye.